in principle, what's important for us to understand, because if we start discussing about Brahmins and Vedic culture, and it's, it's not entirely relevant uh, to our present situation. It says, once in Russia, I met some devotee from, perhaps from ISKCON, and he had a card, and it said, so-and-so das adhikari, and then in italics, it said, Brahman. <laughs> that was his business card. <laughs> so, and someone in Russia asked Gurudev once, if you take a monasic shnat bath, you know, if you bathe mentally, then do you have to bathe later? <laughs> so, uh, somehow Gurudev, he quoted some sloka with regards to Brahmins, and we shall uh, recall at this time that His Divine Grace is a Brahmin by birth. Right? His, the village he comes from, the original name would have been Brahmanpur. And the modified name in time become Brahmanpar. But it's Brahmanpur. So not only is he a Brahmin, the town he comes from is called like Brahmanville. Right? The place, you know, where Brahmins are from. So he's a Brahmin to the extreme. And that could be observed. I mean, Brahmin is still a uh, Triguna uh, appellation. It's within the modes Raj, the Tama Raja Sattva, the highest aspect of the tree Guna plane. But you could see in him observable Brahminical traits such as uh, uh, preoccupation with the Panjika, the calendar, astrological uh, calculations and interpretations, Shastric interpretations, medical advice, all things very consistent with uh, Brahmanical uh, nature. But anyway, at this particular time, on this occasion, he said that, and he quoted a sloka that said, the moment a Brahmin steps, crosses the threshold, you know, the, like the doorway, the threshold, the moment he crosses the threshold and steps outside of his domicile, his house, He's contaminated. And so, in other words, within that world, they can keep everything relatively suchi or pure. But the moment stepping outside of that zone, contamination. So, Srila Guru Maharaj reminds us that the highest quality most potent disinfecting agent in the Kali Yuga is Nam Sankirtan. So that is our primary interest. And Saraswati Thakur said, Kirtan means a fight. Right? We can think that and rightfully so, oh, kirtan means to glorify Krishna, to sing the holy name, uh, uh, engage in different types of praise of Krishna, and certainly it does. Uh, and Jiva Goswami is this further bahubir, uh, militva tadeva san kirtanam, when many come together to glorify Krishna, that also qualifies the united group effort to glorify Krishna, or we can say by extent, uh, extension to um, uh, promote the glories of Krishna through preaching, publications, 
So Saraswati Thakur increased the connotation more by saying it means a fight. The Krishna conception, proper Krishna conception against the Mayas, Mayak misconception. That was his idea. Not that to uh, stay in seclusion, taking the holy name of Krishna. I'm doing Nam Sankirtan. Right? In the famous song of Saraswati Thakur, uh, Vaishnava K. Who is a Vaishnava? He's saying this type of um, posturing is cheating. Uh, <clears throat> and many things he says there. Vaishnavi, Pratishta, Tatekori, Nishta. Our interest is in pleasing the Vaishnavas. So that was his idea. And, but, and the reason I'm saying all of this in, in response to your question is, that in the social context of when he began uh, the revolutionary missionary activities of Gaudiya Mat and all its subsequent offspring, there are so-called Brahmins and Vaishnavas. So, and Vaishnavas who are Brahmins by birth. So, uh, observing and anticipating that Brahmins by birth, Vaishnavas who, so-called Vaishnavas who are Brahmins by birth would think less of non-Brahmin Vaishnavas. He introduced the giving of the sacred thread, the Upavit. Um, and Srila Guru Maharaj points out that Srila Jiva Goswami uh, previously uh, made some um, observations that uh, that a non-Brahmin Vaishnava was similar to the son of a Brahmin in that even the son of a Brahmin has to undergo sanskar and the sacred thread ceremony. And, and as Gurudev mentioned, at what particular age, I forget, but he recalls being in a dark room for three days, can't talk, and different things they do. Um, but so... Jiva Goswami compared that position to being the son of a Brahmin, implying, yet yeah, some qualification is necessary, and hinted that a Mahajan in the future may actually give the Brahmin thread. And we interpret that to be Srila Saraswati Thakur. So the point is, he gave the Brahmin thread to uh, combat the misconception that non-Brahman-born non Vaishnavas were less than Brahman-born Vaishnavas. So he employed this different aspects of Varnashram in service to the Ragamark. So Guru Maharaj describes his motto, Pujala Ragapa Gaurava Bange Matala Sarujana Bisharange that Ragamarg, ra, the Ragabhakti of the Goswamis is outlined by Rupa Goswami, particularly in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. That, and, and that is the uh, desired goal. That that plane and those servitors shall be held above as worshipable. Anything worshipable, Srila Guru Maharaj is pointing out, we put the altar in a high place and from a few steps below we worship. 
So Saraswati Thakur is saying, don't try and bring that down here by taking the dress of Rupa and Sanatan and uh, thinking that one has transcended uh, the necessity of Vidhi Bhakti uh, and artificially, voyeuristically envision oneself as a super servitor in the upper world, but rather from the Varnashram position. On the one side, sannyas, the other side, uh, Brahman. But from there, Daiva Varnashram, that one would serve the uh, superior devotees. That's how it is relevant to us in terms of other things that are described here and there and about uh, why it's this many threats. That I'm, it's not my concern. And I've never put the energy into uh, uh, acquiring that information. As I told recently, when some devotee said to Gurudev, they wanted to change their thread, something had happened, and they said, what is the mantra for putting on the Brahman thread? And Gurudev said, ask Krishna Sharan, ask Aranya Maharaj, who's Brahman, and as I said, he doesn't have the computer but he has stacks of paper and little books and, and he looked through all his papers. He couldn't find it. The person came back to Gurudev and Gurudev said, Chant Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> so, really, for us to um, make much out of this would be... Um, What's the word? Uh, well, it would be too much. <laughs> but then if someone says, well, then why, out of deference to the uh, wishes of Srila Saraswati Thakur, why we do what we do is, was, as I told in the song, Vaishnavi Pratishta Tati Kaurinishta, to please the Guru Varga, what is pleasing to Srila Saraswati Thakur and his followers. They're doing things in a particular way, uh, and we're trying to maintain that and not take those things lightly, that they'll be dismissed lightly. He made these adjustments, we're following that. If someone says, well, theoretically, someone else could make other adjustments, yeah, it's true, theoretically they could, but what is the stature of Vaishnava who will make such adjustments? We, we'll have to carefully consider. And we see Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Gurudev, they maintain this tradition, and we're also following that as given, particularly here by Srila Guru Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs>